Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Uh, today I have a uh, auto dresser for you guys. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, these are the selection buttons for different uh, uh, armor or clothing for you. Uh, so let's first see this in action and then take a look at how it's made and what it does. So let's say that we want to wear the pink uniform today. Uh, I hit this button and there's a noise to tell me when it's ready. And I'm going to try to back it up so you can see what happens. Oh yeah. There we go. So we are wearing pink. <laughs> okay, so let's see what, what happens here. Uh, all of these uh, contains a different kind of uh, armor and when I push this button here it will uh, depower the torch behind the block so that one for this one and this torch uh, gets depowered it will depower this uh, block which will let this hopper to feed the item into the hopper next to it so this one will fit item here, that one there, and so on and so on. Uh, maybe we can see it here, yes, like that. And then the items are led into that dispenser. And uh, when you uh, dispense an item uh, and you are standing next to the dispenser or under, like I did here, uh, the armor is put on. Uh, automatically for the character. Uh, so when an item enters this uh, dispenser, I'm going to use this sandstone to show you. Uh, that comparator will be uh, will be on, which will power this uh, block through that repeater, and that will depower this torch, which is a part of an AND gate. The other part is down here. So this is a vertical AND gate. Uh, this redstone torch, oh sorry, red, the redstone dust is the uh, output for this AND gate. And uh, when this is uh, depowered, that is depowered. Uh, but this uh, side of the AND gate is <coughs> powered. That will be, will stay on. And same for the opposite. If this is depowered. And this is powered this will uh, stay on but if both of these are depowered this will uh, turn off and uh, that will allow this clock to run uh, the other side of this AND gate is controlled by the uh, pressure plate that is behind here so uh, when uh, the player steps there and there's an item there the clock will start to run and I'm going to remove this torch to show you uh, to replicate if I'm standing there. So, oh, and we need to remove that also. Okay, so this is a one tick or two tick uh, uh, clock which will burn out the torch because it's too fast. I think that's the reason. <laughs> but uh, since we are using only four items, uh, it doesn't burn out. So now that it uh, would run uh, permanently, it will burn out. So let's uh, place these back and uh, I don't need, know if I need to replace that burned torch. But this clock, uh, when it runs, it will power that block through that repeater, which will then power this dispenser and it will dispense the items down there. So we can uh, try it again with this uh, sandstone. So let's throw in a few. Uh, as you can see, this is on, this is uh, off, but that one is on. I don't know if I can show you that. You can see that the red redstone line gets uh, turned on, which will depower that torch and the dispenser will sh start shooting out the items. I guess it's empty now, yeah. And uh, I just added this uh, 
uh, node block row here to uh, how can I reach it? So when the uh, item gets uh, in here, it will just play a, a note to mm -hmm. tell the player that the uh, clothing is ready to be put on. You don't have to wait the uh, uh, notification. You can just uh, walk in there after you have pressed the button and uh, it will be dispensed when it's uh, ready. Okay, that's it for those. So then we have this, these uh, buttons. These are to put out or fill the uh, hoppers if you don't want to uh, come back here and do it he from here. Uh, this will open a piston and you let you see the uh, hopper that is for that uh, armor type. Okay, and what that, that does is it depowers that torch or the torch that is behind that uh, on top of that block which will uh, act uh, with that which that uh, button activates so then what happens there is that it will depower for a while and uh, the piston will retract and uh, let the uh, let you uh, access the hopper and uh, one thing that I wanted to say I'm using these uh, wooden buttons because the wooden button will uh, send redstone signal further or uh, sorry uh, longer than the uh, uh, stone one so if I press this first and then quickly get that uh, this will uh, stay on further or longer than that as you can see and that will allow the uh, all of the four items to be dispensed or, or the hopper will uh, release them. If I used these uh, stone buttons, only three items would uh, make it out there. So let's try it again, just for the kicks. Let's say the uh, iron armor. All right, here we go. And this is a... <laughs> Whether I'm always having this bad luck with the weather and uh, the timing, but uh, what can, can you do? It's Minecraft. So, uh, one other thing, thing that you can do with these, if you want, you don't have to use them uh, all for your uh, for your armor. You can use your uh, weaponry and tools if you want. Let's change those and put these in here. And same thing with these. Let's go and grab the tools. And now we are ready, ready to go. And you can add food or whatever you want in there. And you can extend this in both ways. Uh, really easy. There isn't any redstone involved. Uh, um, and by redstone I mean wiring. <laughs> These are only the torches that you need. That one and that one. That's the other all the redstone. And then you just add hoppers that way and uh, the pistons also that way. Uh, the time of the, 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 the item travel time of course is longer when you are using these last ones here. So that's it for this video I think. Yeah, I think so. So, thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.